All right, it's a big day for our Josh Brown. Look at Live Nation and Shake Shack, two of the day's biggest winners. Josh joins us right now. Good to see you. Hey, Josh. All right. How's it going? I'm good. We're great. And, and I know you are, too. T tell our viewers just what you're thinking about these two moves now. I mean, I feel as though they're very, very justified based on the results that, that we're seeing. So which one do you want me to talk about first? Live. Okay. Well, live is live. 17 million fans attended their shows in the third quarter of this year. Overall ticket sales for major festivals were up 10% versus 2019. Not versus the pandemic, but versus the last normal year. So live is not just like trying to get back to where they were. They were accelerating through that, selling out major tours all over the world, 500,000 tickets sold, stuff like Chris Stapleton, Harry Styles, can't get tickets. And then through mid-October, they told us they've already sold 22 million tickets for Live Nation events in 2022. Demand is stronger than ever. A million tickets sold for Coldplay for Red Hot Chili Peppers, stuff like that. So not only are they selling more tickets, but the level at which fans are spending money when they're at the venue is up 20% versus 2019. And last thing I want to say, deferred revenue at the end of the quarter was $1.9 billion. That's backlog. That's money coming to them. That's versus $950 million at this same time in 2019. So forget the comps versus the pandemic. The comps versus 19 are extraordinary and for that reason i feel the move in this stock is more than justified it's like the the epitome of the pent-up demand trade i don't know another oh, yeah. stock where you could literally uh, say that or see it in in the performance or, or certainly listen to the commentary that you have let's move to shack um obviously yeah, Judge, so, so so real quick so real quick i yeah. bought live in january of this year okay in like the 70s and that was the idea pent-up demand in the year of 21 and here it is yeah shack is uh Look, Shaq, Shaq posted revenue up 49% this quarter versus the same time last year. Let's just like pause one second and think about that. In October, they had their highest ever company-operated Shaq sales day, hitting just under $3 million. This is the biggest revenue quarter in the 17-year history of Shaq. In the fourth quarter, they're telling us they're going to surpass a billion dollars in system-wide sales for the year, which would be the first time ever. Same Shack sales up 25% year over year in Q3. And now think about 22. They're going to open 10 drive throughs They've never done that before. They're going to open 50 new Shacks. It's the largest class of new stores ever. And about a quarter of those will have walk-up or drive-up windows. So they're doing all of the things they needed to do to get through the pandemic and now to capitalize on the recovery. And this was another situation. It's an anti-Peloton. This is a... I'm leaving my house today uh, type of story, just like Live Nation, and both are working for the same reason. You want to give me a little something-something on Uber real quick before I let you bounce? Good, not great, but they did tell us they'll be uh, cash flow positive, 25 to $75 million in, in profit uh, for, uh, for Q4, which is just about in line with what analysts were expecting. I think analysts expected $98 million or something. So good, not great, but I'm, I'm going to stick with that, too. All right, good stuff. I appreciate you making the time for us and our viewers, Josh. We'll see you next week. Good Have weekend. Have a nice weekend, everybody. All right, you too.